Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Distinguished Foreign Ministers of Organization of Islamic Countries, Member and Observer States, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. It is a matter of great pleasure and pride for me to welcome all of you here who have come for the 48th session of the Organization of Islamic Countries Council of Foreign Ministers to Pakistan and to this Evan e Sadr, which is a people's house. You are aware we are maintaining good, close, cordial relations among ourselves throughout the Islamic world. And Pakistan, being a founder of the Organization of Islamic Conference, is both proud and humbled by our role in promoting and advancing Islamic values. There are issues which have been raised by you in today's meeting and will be discussed further tomorrow, which we have to counter, for example, Islamophobia. And I am glad that because of your cooperation, together, working together, and Pakistan, that the United Nations has declared March 15th as the World Islamophobia Day to battle all these tendencies. The other issue which I would like to draw your attention, and you are very well aware of it, is fake news. The way it distorts per perceptions and the way it distorts realities leading to wars. I believe we are getting together to strengthen our relationships, to make our points of view of Islamic morality more prevalent in this vested interest world. And let us not forget, a very important part of our lives have been the unsettled issues of Palestine and Kashmir. And we look upon the United Nations for a quick and fast solution on these humanitarian issues. All our countries look, are, look for peace, peace in Afghanistan, peace in Ukraine, peace throughout the world. There are areas in which we have to work hard, that is education, health, women's rights, and the fact that our region becomes prosperous and there is prosperity, unifying ourselves for the trials and tribulations of the world. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Pakistan again. Pakistan, Pahindabad.